Hello, I'm Randy Reynolds, the AVantage Business Development Manager for Anderson Vreeland. Today we're going to be reviewing the steps and processes involved in the making of a liquid photopolymer plate. With us today is Scott Murray, our AVantage Technical Services representative, who will be going over these steps. Uh, today we'll be using a common piece of photopolymer equipment. This is the exposure unit and we'll go over the steps needed to make a clean photopolymer plate. Once the height of the plate has been set with the shims along the side, the next step will be to clean the negative. To clean the negative, we just simply clean the glass underneath to begin, and then we go to the negative, getting all the dust off. We've got the negatives clean. Now we will protect them with a cover sheet. It's pulled across and laid into position. And then we will take the air out from under it with a wand. Once the majority of the air is taken out, then we turn the power of the machine on and we turn on the vacuum pump. This will remove the remaining air from the negative. Care must be taken to get all the air bubbles out and to look in areas that are going to print for problems. Once good vacuum has been achieved, then we're ready to move the carriage from the home position to the start position. Once the carriage is in the start position, then we insert the substrate into the holder and put it in the begin position. Okay, once we have the substrate set, we'll then make adjustments on the bucket for the AV Advantage polymer. Once the settings are correct, then we will open the bucket and the carriage will slowly come across. And once it has come to the end, we'll then close the bucket and that will complete the pour. We have the bucket adjusted, and now we're going to cast our plate. I have about a three second dwell, and then I move carriage. Close the bucket and close the adjusters. Now that the plate is cast, we need to do a face exposure, which comes from the bottom, and a back exposure that comes from the top. So all that remains is to close the lid and begin the procedure. Once the plate has been exposed, it is now ready to take off to the washout. And we simply cut the cover sheet. Once the cover sheet is cut, then we can turn off the vacuum and remove the plate from the machine. We've completed our exposure process. We've mounted our plate to a J-bar in our detergent water washout. I'll now remove the cover sheet and mount the plate for wash. At this point, we advance the drum and mount the tail end of the plate. We lock the tail end down securely. We're ready to close the lid and wash the plate out. Okay, the washout cycle is complete. We'll open the unit up and 
bring the plate to the position where we can remove the clamp and pull the plate off and then we back it off to where we can get to the front clamp bar. Lay the plate out, unhook the clamp, and we lift the plate out, and then we go to the rinse. And we put it in the rinse section. This is just clean water. Turn the water on. Rinse all the soap detergent off. Now that the plate is rinsed, it's time for the post exposure. We'll pull the plate back out and we run it in to our salt water bath where it's going to be exposed by the lights above to finish the plate. It's completely underwater and ready for post. Post expose is complete. Now we simply go back into the rinse to get the salts off of the plate. Being careful not to kink the plate. We turn the water back on. And then we put it in the dryer where we'll dry it for probably 20 minutes for this gauge of plate. Uh, each plate will vary a little bit. Once the plate is dry, it can be removed from the oven and cut to size for press. We hope that this helps you understand the AV Advantage Processing System.